for those that are familiar with the big machine, there's a big difference, huh? This is relatively portable. Inside this machine, they also have blood pump to pump the blood from the patient and back to the patient, dialysate pump, gauges to measure pressures, air detectors to detect air, clamp to clamp off the line to prevent air from entering the patient's body. So all the safety features are in place. First of all, we have to turn on the machine. We're going to open up the cartridge. So with the cartridge, we need to make sure all the connections are intact. And then we're going to take off the strap that hold the cartridge together. Now I'm going to drop the cartridge in. And then close the door. Making sure nothing is pinched. Then the next thing is we're going to spike the saline. So I'm going to open up the back of saline. I'm going to free up the tubing, untangle it a little bit. And then we hang the saline back up here. Like this. So in order to prime, I just have to push one button. The priming has started. The machine will deliver the saline from the saline bag, fill up the tubings, all the tubings, and the dialyzer. And the air that got expelled will go back to the saline bag. So there's no air exposure and it's going to take 23 minutes so patient doesn't have to stay here and watch they can just go away and come back so after the initial phase of priming is completed the machine will give us an alert and the user has to read all the display because this is a safety check then we acknowledge that I can read all the 8.8 .8 .8 by pressing the mute button And then again, I have to be able to read all the numbers and the letters. After I'm done with that, then I can press the mute button. So, and then at this point, we can move the dialyzer to the dialyzer holder. Okay. So at this point, the patient will connect the line with the green clamp to the dialysate. The line with the yellow clamp to the waistline. And then this machine is pretty much ready for dialysis. But I'm not going to do that demonstration today. However, this machine is pretty much ready for treatment. I hope you find this video very helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the home training nurses. We're very happy to help.